a gym, here comes a gym, here comes a gym from MM. Mickey about to drop a gym, Mickey about to drop a gym, Mickey about to drop a gym, Mickey about to drop a gym. Here comes a gym, here comes a gym, here comes a gym from MM. Mickey about to drop a gym, Mickey about to drop a gym, Mickey about to drop a gym. Okay, now listen up. What's up, guys? It's Miki, and welcome back to another episode of Blank Canvas. I hope my BK fam is feeling good. Your girl is feeling a little better. It's um, it's the Tuesday after a long weekend, so I'm a little tired, but um, we're trucking. <laughs> we're trucking on through. Guys, guess what? I need to give you an update about my life. You guys are going to be so proud of me. For my OG BK fans, y'all know how introverted I am and the running joke because I stay in the house, blah, blah, blah. I went outside, (laughs) y'all. Where's my, like, I need some hand claps. Let's try that again. I went outside, y'all. Yeah, I know. I know. It's crazy that I went outside. And can I be completely honest and transparent? The whole entire time that I was on the way, I kept thinking in my head, like, I'm on the freeway, driving, looking out the window, and just literally thinking, oh, God, I regret this. Oh, God, I regret this. I had taken a nap before, and that's probably the worst thing that you can do because I did this a couple of times in college too. And every time I did this in college, I never went out. Like if I took a pre-nap too close to time, I never went out. So I took me a good little nap before going out because I was like, it's been the longest Friday ever. And it really was such a very long Friday for me. And I'm like, I still got more stuff to do. Wow. Let me take this nap. Let me try to be alert, alive, everything. I don't know if it helped or harmed me because baby, I did not want to wake up from the nap. Then I had to get up from the nap and I actually had to go. And the whole time looking out the window on the freeway, I'm just thinking like, wow, I completely regret this decision, but I'm going to force myself to go because I just, I gotta be living life. I gotta make these moments. I feel like when I was young, well, I can't even say when I was younger. I feel like college me, and it's not just college me like a party environment. Like college, I went on vacation. I would go out to eat, um, do activities as much as I possibly could in the town that I was at. Like, traveling like I did stuff it's not just about like going to a party or going to a club it wasn't that like I just I did stuff I had the balance of staying at home and I actually did activities and I just feel like my life took such a major shift after graduating like things became extra serious as if stuff wasn't serious before but things became extra serious and different life events happened and it just felt like consistently I was I wasn't like living life like I had finally got to the point where I could right and also I wasn't giving myself things to look forward to so I'm being responsible I'm doing everything that I have to do but it's not fulfilling me it's not I mean it's not for me right so I don't really know how fulfilling it's gonna feel anyways but at the same time like it was just it's kind of hard to describe like I just was going through the motions of life and I didn't feel like I had anything to look forward to so um in the month of August I will say I've I had more than one thing to look forward to it was spaced out it was spaced out um but it worked it worked and I think the biggest takeaway that I'll take from that is is that I'm going to do more things. I'm going to take advantage of life. And it doesn't mean like I always have to spend a lot of money or do anything. Like even if it's just getting up, going to the park or just, I don't know, like simple stuff, like really having things to look forward to do and spreading it out throughout the week. Like 
I don't know where what I'm on such a very particular streak schedule and I'm also a planner so my brain no matter whether I had this schedule or any other schedule my brain has always run on like schedule like I need to be here 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 and here y'all know I struggle with being present I'm a future forward thinker I'm in a moment prepping for the next like it's hard for me okay it is hard for me to be present at times and Something else that I just realized I was bad at was giving me moment like on a Monday, I should have moments to look forward to. If I want to do something on a Wednesday, I should have moments to look forward to. I don't always, you know, it's like when you go to work and you wait till that Friday, and you're like, oh, finally, if I can just make it to Friday. But then there's so many other days in the week that you missed or that you could have done something or that you could have enjoyed somebody, you could have saw somebody and, um, those are just things that I'm trying to be more intentional about. Everything may not be in my control, right? There are so many factors that are out of my hands and there are so many uh, things that are just, it is what it is right now. And I'm grateful for the whole entire process because it will not always be this way. However, I got to get back to literally having things to look forward to whether big or small really implementing things that I like to do and 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 trying different things I think another thing that I learned about going out and let me tell you because I described the regret but it was actually a good time like it was a good time it was a fun time I was able to stay up the whole time it was fun it's just that I also realized I think when I like to go out like I like to do things like Eating will always be my favorite thing. If that'll probably be my number one thing over anything, over any activity, over anything. Like if I got to go out, if there's food involved and it's good food, I'm down. Like I ain't even got to have drinks. Like if there's good food involved, I am down. But I think I'm also like a person. I like to do like activities. So if I'm going to the park, maybe I want to have a picnic. Maybe I'm just want to enjoy nature. Maybe I want to people watch. If, um, Maybe I want to go to the movies, watch a movie. Maybe I want to do stuff like a breakout room or throw axes or go skating, bowling, like legitimately do something fun, play a game, do something that either bonds the group, bonds whoever you're out with. And like you really like get to connect and do something with. I hate, hate, hate small talk. I do. I really hate small talk. And something else that I have been realizing is I feel like after the pandemic, I don't know if I'm more socially awkward after the pandemic or what, because I swear I never used to be this bad. But within the past year and a half, I have realized that I'm so bad. Like, for example, when most people have like a normal interaction, even if it's like stranger at the store right like oh have a nice day my brain uses like my mouth to say thanks and then that's it and then like five minutes later or something I'll be thinking like damn I probably should have said you too or thanks you too or literally say you have a great day as well like respond I'm just like a thanks and then keep going not like in a rude way but like I end the conversation I don't say things to keep it going I don't say things that are just natural social cues for like the average person like it just doesn't ring in my mind that way I don't know if it's because for most people I want them to hurry up this pointless meaningless interaction or uh, me like or a combination of both because two things can be true at once there are times when people are talking to me and I'm like please hurry this along please shut your mouth um get to the point and there are other times where I'm perfectly okay with the person speaking or talking or whatever but my brain is just not computing certain social skills that are just like a duh a common sense so I I, 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 I don't know what happened to me y'all I guess I got a little worse and so when I was out and I was seeing people like I love to people watch I do I love to people watch but really seeing people like in the environment where we went and like some people having a good time and other stuff and it was a lot happening it was a lot happening but then much of nothing happening at the same time and I don't know if that makes any sense but if it does great because I don't know any other way to explain it but yeah so there was a bunch of stuff happening and nothing happening at the same time but it was very interesting to see people interact and um 
mingle and hang out with each other and be like, oh, this is your type of environment. You enjoy this type of environment. That's cool. That's different. And mm, again, I had a good time. So I'm not going to say it's not my type of environment. I would just say probably not my first choice. Absolutely. Probably not my first choice, but not my last either. Like I could get into it. The place was really cute. Both places were really cute. And um, just like a good time. I can't tell you guys the names because I don't remember. Um, nor would I probably still tell you guys the names. Safety. <laughs> Safety. But yeah, it was just, it was a good time. And I would love to try it again and just do other things. Like I'm going to be very intentional on really making the most because if I'm always waiting for a particular day in the week or a particular days in the week then the other days of my life are passing me by and there are so many days that I'm just uh, hoping just in quickly or that I can't wait to get through and um just let pass on by just because I'm looking forward to one one day or one particular day or one particular thing like if I have something to look forward to I think the thing is, is I need to just plan more out and space more out to live a full well-rounded life because I have some friends and I mean they be they be on go all the time right and some of them overbook and so then they feel overwhelmed so I feel like it's like a balance right I need to book enough to where I have things to look forward to where I'm not rushing all the other days of my life away or where I don't feel miserable every other day except for certain days and imagine feeling miserable on all the other days and then you getting to the days that you look forward to and you feel miserable on those days too like mm, it could just be a lot and yeah so I'm trying to be better but I thought y'all would be proud of me for going outside and actually trying to be social and do some things also college football was back war damn eagle war damn eagle because my auburn tigers looked fan fucking tastic um hopefully we keep that up and let's get into it go tigers last thing i would say on this week's episode before i end is something i learned about myself right um, i think i told you about a couple of things that i've been noticing but the last thing that i want to talk about that i notice is i can i'm still the thing that i learn about myself is i'm still learning myself i'm learning about what i look like who i am in this phase of my life what it looks like what it translates to for other people like i'm still learning because the older i get the more I understand how some people can be like, I had no idea she was going to walk away. I had no idea it was over. At first, I never used to believe that, you know, like, how could you not know? I gave warnings, da, 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 and, which is still true. But also something that scares me about myself that I've noticed recently is there is a way that I can be fully interacting fully there smiling not trying to cause problems not trying to have arguments or everything and still at the same time thinking in my head this shit is a wrap right like or I'm at my wits end and I I really don't have the patience to keep going like kind of thing and if you were in a room with me you would have no idea even some of the closest people to me would have no idea Okay, now listen, the people in your life who are closest to you, do they have a better chance at picking up on different vibes, the distance and everything um, versus other people? Of course, there's levels to everything. But when I realized I could be in a room and I mean, I've experienced this, I've experienced it recently, but this isn't the first time I've experienced this in my life. And now I'm starting to understand myself a little better about how I can come off as uh, I don't even know if distant, distant and aloof isn't even the word that I'm looking to describe it because I'm fully there and people don't even, well, I say I'm fully there. Like I'm there, I'm laughing. It seems like a really great time. It seems like positive. It seems like it's going forward, but there's a part of me that is so either checked out or so, I guess, 
be down bad isn't like the right verbiage but that has there's a part of me that has taken such a beating it's taken so much that it is there's a part of me that is so checked out and I wonder if it's permanent and that's what scares me because I can very much well be cordial I think it's almost like getting to a point where if you got to bow out you could bow out gracefully remember I said I used to pride myself on that like well if we got to end it ain't gotta be like a shit storm we can end this peacefully and I've had situations that have ended very peacefully you know like it's just we grew apart time is up it is what it is <sighs> I don't know if I'm getting to the point where I'm just like okay I know everything I need to know I'm at peace with everything I'm seeing everything that there is to see um fully understanding everybody's mindset involved and I don't know if I'm thinking like but if this is all mm, you know <laughs> and it's kind of hard to describe without going into details of the story and the situation which I'm not going to do but I scare myself because how could I or what is it called? Does anybody know what it's called when you can be fully present, but you're thinking this is done. This is so done. I'm so over it. Or maybe there's hope, but it's going to take more work than I thought to rebuild. Just blow after blow after blow after blow. And, you know, relationships take work, all kinds, friendships, romantic relationships, family relationships, and both parties have to be willing to do it. And I'm also big on not wasting people's time. So I don't want anybody in my life to be putting in massive efforts if if it's not going to go anywhere. Like maybe the only thing that could come from it is a peaceful walk away kind of thing. But I don't know of anything else strong, solid can be done. And then again, it could just be like, hmm, could just be the mood, could be very specific factors that I that I have in the back of my head that is literally persuading me to think this way. So I don't know. I have no idea. Because again, once you've taken an once you've taken a lot and once it's a build up over stuff it's just hard it's hard to rebuild it's hard to um get back to where you should be and better like I don't even want to get back to just the original spot like I want to be better and like I always talk about when God brings you through things and takes you through things not only does he bring you out on the other side but you are so much better so deep deep down I feel like it's stuff that can be worked on and it's gonna take work and I think a part of me I don't even think it's like laziness I'm just like I wish I could blink my eyes and everything was better than what it was supposed to be but um unfortunately I think this time in order to make sure that real change and stuff is happening I'm gonna have to sit through these emotions I'm gonna really have to talk out these things I'm really gonna have to be honest um I'm really gonna have to fully accept myself everyone else for where they are what they can and can't give what they are willing and what they aren't willing to give and um some people are worth the effort some people are definitely worth the effort. I talk to you guys about that all the time, but I don't know. So that's something else I learned about myself. All right. Besides me being socially awkward and everything is how I can. You would think I'm fully present and in a sense I am. But at the same time, I'm present, but not present. Like I'm thinking this is probably it. This is probably it. But I like to have that thought and not be sad. <sighs> not good because usually when I have that thought and I'm not sad like I'm over it like if I'm still fussing about certain things if I'm still trying to talk about it really try try to talk it through get some understanding there's hope when I start okay in a little too much when I start um mm, there's a couple of different signs of me but if it's it's too calm too good 
and it's the type of time where it shouldn't be like it absolutely shouldn't be red flag warning um trouble is on the horizon okay or it's here and i have buried it so far under the rug that i'm a low-key trick myself and then something gonna come up and i'm gonna think it's just that thing but it's really that all core issues haven't been dealt with or worked through and it's gonna take time and i can't rush this process no matter how much i want to so that's what i learned about me and that's my little update on my life i'm gonna try to go outside again y'all but in a different way all right so thank you guys for taking time out of your little day to listen to me i can't wait to see what we talk about next time all right guys bye Just listen, blank curves, blank curves.